While we celebrate gaming here, it's important to note that it's not always good for you. The World Health Organization is adding gaming disorder and hazardous gaming as new entries for an updated draft to the International Compendium of Diseases. Gaming disorder is defined as an addictive behavior like gambling, while hazardous gaming refers to people putting their health at risk mentally and physically to play. I'm interested to read more about those specific definitions, but do think it's also important to mention that video games can also be hugely beneficial to mental health. Charity organization Checkpoint specifically has done a really great job of educating people about the therapeutic benefits of video games, so check them out if you want to hear more about those. Did Microsoft rip off a fan's advert for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds on Xbox One? Reddit user Maxter pointed out the alleged copycat, saying his work showing a PUBG player in a field on top of an Xbox looks suspiciously similar to an image Microsoft promoted on social media channels. This apparently caught the attention of Major Nelson, who said on Twitter that Microsoft is investigating this and pulled down the PUBG ad. That is crazy, but actually wouldn't be the first time something like this has happened. Bit of a throwback, but in 2015, Naughty Dog accidentally used art from Assassin's Creed Black Flag in the trailer for Uncharted 4. Apparently, these kinds of things can happen when developers use placeholder art that they like when a project is first starting out and then they forget to change it. In the new Netflix show Dark, viewers might have noticed a pretty cool split-screen mode for The Surge, but don't expect that feature to come to the real game. Developer Deck13 explained on Reddit how they worked with Dark's producers, saying, we agreed and allowed them to even fake a split screen if it fitted better for their idea. Some kind of creative rework, one could say. Technically, it'd wreck the console, though. Interesting. That's your daily fix for January 2nd. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out 41 big games coming in 2018, which, hey, is this year now. Happy 2018, you guys. I promise we'll get rid of this tree back here very soon. So get excited about Red Dead Redemption 2, Anthem, Crackdown 3, Spider-Man on PS4, and more arriving in the next 12 months. With that, I'm Alana Pierce. Don't forget to download the IGN app, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.